Do you want to know how to add a white outline to an image? Then this video is for you. Hello, I'm Sophie, Millionaire Mom. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to take a photograph and add a white outline around it, in particular for a YouTube channel. This is going to grab more attention and it's going to get you a higher click-through rate. I'm going to share my screen and show you exactly how you can do this easily and for free. Make sure you stick to the end of this video because after I've done that and shown you how to do this, I'm going to come back on the big screen and I'm going to share with you two more tips that are going to help your thumbnails get more clicks and therefore your videos get more views. Okay, let's go. So here's what we get to do. We are going to go to canva.com. I'm going to show you with another account, a demo account that I have, how you can do this for free, right? So you go to canva.com, you sign up for free, not for the pro version, just sign up for free and then click here, create a design. Now here in search, you do YouTube thumbnail, right? Then we are just going to, just for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to keep it incredibly simple. I'm just going to show you how to do the image with the white ring around it, okay? So I'm just going to make uh, this a different color just so that you can see really properly how it works, right? Now, what we are going to need for this is an image that doesn't have a background, right? Now, in the free version of Canva, you cannot remove the background from the image. You can if you have the pro version, but not if you have the free version. So what you need going to need to do is go to this site called remove.bg. You are then going to click here, upload an image, right? And you are just going to select an image, a, a, a picture of yourself, okay? Um, let's say I'm going to select this one and it uploads it and it actually automatically removes the, the, the background for you, right? So then you download this and you're going to save it to your computer so you just click on it and you do a right click save as and okay i'm going to save it in here um demo picture right so once you've saved it you've got that that's brilliant so then you go back to canva you click here uploads you click device and you are going to go and find the file that you just um you, the, the picture that you just saved here demo picture right so you double click and you import it and now it's here so you just tap this okay so now you have your picture here to make the white ring, what you need to do is tap on the picture and click effects. Now here, you're going to need to go to shadows. Let's let it load. <laughs> okay. If by any chance you do not have that, if you have a brand new Canva account, you might be, you might have a little notification here that says connect. Just click connect and then you will see this that I have now, right? So then you need to click glow. And um, then you need to click glow again. Then once you've clicked glow, what you can do is obviously you need to select a white, right? Because you want a white ring. <laughs> you can make it bigger. I suggest you, you definitely make it bigger. Do go to a hundred. So it's, it's really all solid, right? And the blur, you can, you can increase it or decrease it. I usually put it to a two right again you can you can you know you can make it really big right <laughs> but i usually keep it to a to a 10 right just just about then you tap here apply 
and that is it okay now one thing is occasionally it's a little bit tricky occasionally for some reason the it says um this effect can't be applied don't worry if that happens to you just delete the picture start again okay it just happens um what i then do is uh, once I've, I've done the glow i also adjust the the you know i i do i change a little bit the saturation saturation, uh, I increase the contrast a bit, uh, you know, things like that, well, whatever, whatever you want to do, right, that, that's really up to you, but I do that after I have put the white ring, if I put it before, for some reason, nine times out of ten, when I put the white ring around, then it cancels the effect, the adjustments, and I've got to do them again, okay, that's a little tip for you, that is how it's done. So that was easy, wasn't it? I hope you found it helpful and if you did, make sure you give the video a like and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content. Now I promised you two more tips to make uh, thumbnails better and have a higher CTR rate, right? Your thumbnails are incredibly important if you are on YouTube because when people are searching for something, they are going to get a choice of videos and they're the most important thing that's going to grab their attention is the thumbnail right before the title of the video just think of what you look at when you are on YouTube looking for something right you search for something then you see all the suggestions and most likely you click on the thumbnail that appeals to you the most so I give you two more tips apart from the white outline around your face it's important to have your face on the thumbnail generally that is going to grab attention better than than, than if there's no face right but apart from that, another tip is do not put too much writing, okay? Get, keep it to a few words and make sure you grab attention with your words. On your thumbnail, you do not need the title of your video. What you need is a few words that are going to create curiosity and make the, your viewer want to find out what the video is about. Be very careful not to put what is called clickbaity titles, right? So do not put words that are going to uh, create curiosity, but then that have nothing to do with the video, okay? Because that is going to harm your channel. A, it's not right to do that, but B, it's going to mean that people are going to click, they're going to watch 30 seconds of your video, and when they realize that it's not what it promised to be in the thumbnail, then they're going to move on to another video, and that is going to harm your channel, because YouTube wants people, they're not going to push videos that people do not stay on okay but make sure your thumbnail creates curiosity it makes people want to click the next tip i want to share with you is make sure that it looks good on all devices do not forget when you make a thumbnail that people are going to go to YouTube on different devices. They're either going to use their laptop or their mobile phone or their tablet, or some people might even use it, you know, watch it from their TV. So make sure you use... Um, you, you check that it works on all sizes. If, like me, you use a tool called Morning Fame, then it allows you to compare the sizes of the thumbnails. It, it, it shows you what they will look like on all devices. So with these two tips and the white ring, <laughs> the white ring around your image, you should get a better click-through rate. Now, if you have any questions about how to do anything else on YouTube, please make sure you post your questions in the comments below. I thank you so much for watching this video. And if you want to know how to make money with a small YouTube channel, I suggest you watch this video next. Bye for now.